Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting quick VFX tutorial where I will share some cool visual effects tips and tricks without boring you for a full 30 minutes. Did you ever need to remove or extract a moving object or a person from a shot but you just couldn't figure out how? You didn't use a green screen and any way of keying them out in an elegant way just seems to fail horrendously? This is where rotoscoping comes into play. In this video I want to explain what exactly rotoscoping is, why it is useful and why you want to do everything in your power to avoid it wherever possible. The term rotoscoping actually comes from the good old days when artists used to manually trace over the frames of a film one frame at a time in order to add visual effects or animation into a shot. Each frame of the film would be projected onto a transparent easel where the artists would do their work. The contraption used to project this image was called a rotoscope. While everything has now moved to the wonderful world of computers, the term rotoscoping or roto for short has remained and refers to the act of painting over a visual element frame by frame for the purpose of isolating it from the rest of the shot. In Adobe After Effects and other visual effects compositing tools, you can achieve this by creating animated masks that follow the element you want to roto. If you own After Effects CS5 or above, you can also use the Roto Brush tool, for which I already have a separate tutorial on this channel. In case you didn't already know, rotoscoping is not an enjoyable task. It can be incredibly time consuming and tedious and can lead to you smacking your head onto your keyboard repeatedly during the process. Ideally, you want to consider which visual elements you need to isolate or extract before you shoot your scene. This then allows you to, for example, use a green screen instead. If you can't use a green screen, there are still a number of things you can do to make your life easier. First off, shoot your scene with a higher shutter speed to reduce motion blur. Motion blur can be difficult to deal with when rotoscoping and you can always add it back later. Make sure your scene is properly lit and the objects you are planning to roto are clear and stand out distinctly against all of the background elements. This of course means avoid having your actor wear all black and run through some dark forest at night while the scene drifts in and out of focus. That ain't gonna fly. Finally, ensure that you shoot any clean place that you may require to make it easier for the visual effects artists to separate the visual elements in post. Once you do have to get into rotoscoping, I would always recommend using the Rotobrush tool in After Effects or advanced trackers such as Mocha to assist with this tedious process. Creating and animating masks frame by frame for more than a second can drive you absolutely insane, so I recommend you avoid it by any means possible. I really hope you enjoyed this video and as always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you did enjoy it, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you do want to see more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials, don't forget to go to youtube.com slash studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.